Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to our Friday 10-minute Lunch and Learn webinars. Uh, today's webinar will be on reputation management uh, for your business online and becoming the expert online. My name is Steve Heideman. I am the Chief Technology Officer for Mint Social. And what we really wanted to do with these webinars was give you guys, you know, practical, actionable tips and tools that you can use uh, in your in your business to market your business online. And we wanted to to deliver those in 10 minutes or less because we realize that everybody is very busy these days and uh, we wanted to make sure that folks uh, got the information and got in and out. So um, we're going to talk today about reputation management online and I'm going to be pulling a lot from a blog post that we did on um, on uh, uh, Mint Social's website. It is called entitled Quick Six Quick Tips for Reputation Management in the Digital Age. And you know, one of the big things that uh, I learned recently was that, um, according to Compete.com, si only six percent of folks that shop online don't do any research before they make their purchases. So, and as you can see from this from this uh, uh, um, uh, survey, that you know, a good majority of the folks start with search engines. And so, of course, the sixty-four thousand dollar question for business owners is, you know, how do, um, how do you look to folks when people Google your name or your brand name or your company name or your personal name? Um, you know, so what the first step you should take is to go to Google.com and type in your company name, your nonprofit name, your personal name, and kind of just see what comes up in the first, you know, 10 or 20 results. Um, would you like those those results to be, um, you know, uh, representative of you and your your company and your brand. If the answer is yes, you're well on the way to great reputation management. However, if the answer is no, you probably want to take take a look at you know creating a nice um, profile for your social media uh, uh, and 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 you know social network homes. Um, you know, try to make it benefit oriented to why would people want to do business with you? Why would people want to be part of your charitable or charitable organization? You know, make it less salesy and more about the features, advantages, and benefits that your particular brand brings to the table. Okay? Then once you've got a good um, a good profile, you know, you read it, you sound like the expert, you're proud of it, it's something that, you know, quite frankly, maybe you want to pass it on to some of your customers or clients, maybe you want to pass it on to, uh, you know, uh, other folks in your organization and see if they have anything to add. And once you do that, then you're going to want to be able to find uh, the, the social homes and be able to set up your social homes. And there's a great tool for grabbing your brand name, and it's called Noem.com, K-N-O-W-E-M.com. And what you can do real, really simply is you can enter your brand name here and click and check it, and really you can get, um, you know, you can get uh, uh, 350 different profiles signed up at once. They actually do have, if you come down here, they actually do have uh, a service to set them up for you. Um, complete with profile photos and everything. So once you write that really nice, um, uh, really nice, you know, uh, profile, you want to be able to uh, spread that across the web as far as possible. So Noam is a great place to start with that. They are a little pricey, but uh, you know, it, it's the dollar cost opportunity of of you know your time and so forth. So it does take quite a bit of time to sign up for all those folks. The next thing you're going to want to be able to do is secure your brand name um, in the search engines. Uh, as, with as many URLs as you possibly can. Try to stick to .coms and .nets um, because those are the those carry the most weight for the exact match domain benefit. And you're going to want to make sure to get all hyphenations and everything like that. A great tool to use is a, a, a website called Bust a Name, B-U-S-T-A-N-A-M-E.com, and you can just kind of type a few keywords in here, uh, you know, and add them, and it'll spit out a, a bunch of available domains for you. Um, based on you know the keywords that you enter, so it's quite uh, it's quite powerful. There's actually a video tutorial on Bust the Name as well. You can come over and check it out, um, so that you can kind of learn how to, how to go through it. It's very simple to do. We use it a lot here at Mint Social. Now, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is use Google liberally. Okay, and what I mean by that is uh, Google has a bunch of places where you can put your your brand name and company name, and obviously Google wants to stack the results for their own uh, profiles and their own property. So, um, you know, google.com forward slash profile, 
Uh, I know that's not the URL here, but you know how Google makes silly URLs for, uh, for everyone to see on redirect. Um, so you can come here and create your own Google profile. Uh, you know, it's real simple. It takes about 15 minutes to get a really nice tight profile. You can actually, if you have like a Flickr account or other photo sharing site accounts, you can import photos from here, talk about yourself, um, talk about your brand, put links to your company, etc. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to secure your local business in Google Places. Uh, it used to be Google Local, and now it's Google Places. So to get there, just go to google.com forward slash places. And once again, this is more of a Google Maps profile, okay? So it's more, uh, has more to do with, with your location and all the information around your geolocated um, uh, uh, on brand name, okay? Now, um, one of the big things for folks is what if there's already negative information out there on my company? Uh, you know, either through something like epinions.com or something like ripoffreport.com. And I got, you got to tell you, it really depends on how old those ripoff reports and opinions are, number one. Number two, how many there are. Um, if there's not that many, if there's only, let's say there's only one ripoff report, I mean, everybody, you know, everybody, uh, no matter how good they do, uh, you know, sometimes folks just can't be pleased for whatever reason. And if it's been out there for quite a while and it's starting to kind of sink down in the results, you going back and putting in a rebuttal can actually re-index that negative result and push it to the top of all the results for your, for your Google, uh, um, you know, SERP, SERP results. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave old ones alone if at all possible. Now, if they're real bad, Ripoff Report actually has kind of a neat little uh, tool that I, I just learned about that they actually have a corporate advocacy, advocacy program. So you can actually work with Ripoff Report if there's a lot of negative stuff out there for you or if there's, if there's you know, r stubborn results that just won't go away. Um, you know, Ripoff Report can help there. And just go to the ripoffreport.com and click this little, uh, this little tab right here, Repair Your Reputation, and, and learn about their corporate advocacy program. That may be something that you're going to want to look into if there's indeed a lot of bad information on there about you. Now, let's say you have some bad stuff, but you have a bunch of good stuff, too, that's below it. Well, what you want to do is you want to be able to link to those results because building links is really the, the main juice of what causes um, results to rise in Google. So one of the great tools that we use over at Mint here is a, is a, a syndicated bookmarking service called OnlyWire. And OnlyWire, you sign up for you know, a bunch of um, uh, social bookmarking sites like Technorati and Dig and Reddit and Newsvine and Twitter, et cetera. And you can actually syndicate and link with one click all of your um, all of your uh, uh, social to all of your social bookmarking sites in one click, and it's just a simple little button. If you notice up here in my in my uh, Firefox toolbar here, there's a little bookmark and share. And if I just click this button, I can share with no frames. And oh, well, I well, that didn't work. But uh, we use it all the time for blog posts, etc. Um, it looks like I've got to upgrade to the newest version. I haven't done it in a couple of weeks. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. Um, you know, obviously you want to bookmark the results that you want to rise and leave the ones that you want to fall alone. And with a couple of months of pretty diligent work, et cetera, you can, um, you can really be, uh, you know, well on your way to having a sterling reputation online. I mean, you know, 94% of folks that shop online go uh, you do research first. And so how you look online is really going to uh, determine you know, whether people want to do business with you or not. Mm -hmm.